toll on your body. The intense heat and lack of rain is starting to put stress on crops all over the state. KX News reporter Robert Sir spoke with two farmers feeling the heat this agricultural season. For farmers, the sun can be a friend and a foe. They need it to help the crops we eat grow. But with little rain across western portions of the state this year, the sun has turned into an enemy, baking the prairies dry. And the dry ground makes it hard for crops to grow. I stopped by the ranch of Perry Moser. He's got just under 1,000 acres around Baldwin. Our crops are starting to show some stress, and the small grains, I'm afraid, are... I don't know if this rain's going to save them or not. It'll, it'll definitely make, make some hay out of them, but I don't know if we're going to see any grain. He adds that his beans and corn can weather the dry conditions, but only for a while before they too will start to fade. He said he also fears things may only get worse the deeper we get into summer. If we don't get some rain, there's going to be some decisions that are going to have to be made as to our, our pastures are starting to dry. I mean, they still look good. We've still got grass, but there's going to be a point where we're going to have to make some decisions as to whether we uh, thin some cows out, wean some calves, uh, just what we're going to do. I'm here at the Heart River Bottoms just north of Flasher, and this is a perfect example of how dry it's been. I want you to focus on that green strip behind me there. That is just how far the irrigation system here will reach. It's green on one side, but dry and crispy on the other. And farmers I talk to tell me they need a good amount of rainfall here sooner than later. One of those farmers is Douglas Hilly. He manages 6,000 acres and says the dry conditions are having a big impact on not only his crops, but his cattle. Not only is they're not forage growing, but wherever the cattle walk, what is standing green or not green is so brittle that it breaks off every time a hoof comes down. So they're actually breaking off and knocking down more than they're eating at the present time. And the cattle that aren't eating well is a big, big problem in the long run. If we don't get some moisture, we're going to see lighter calves, which is going to impact income because lighter calves bring less money. We're going to see possibility of cows that are open because of, you know, just not not proper grass and weather conditions. I mean, it yeah, there's definitely going to be effects from it. And it's the mental strain of the unknown that is sometimes the hardest. Knowing that you're not going to have a crop that you really look forward to harvesting or having to sell some of your best cows and things like that, those are the hardest thing on many people. And it's very difficult to, uh, you know, uh, work many years to build a cow herd and then have to sell them because you can't scratch together enough feed. Reporting for KX News in Flasher, I'm Robert Sir. Both ranchers tell us while the thunderstorms help a little, a multi-day slow soaking rain region-wide is what producers really need right now.